everyone welcome to the session on genius chalk in this lecture uh, we will be continuing our part 8 of number system if you have not watched the previous videos where we have discussed uh, some important previous year questions please watch the previous videos and then watch this you will be in a better condition to understand the topic so let's start the first question of the class so which of the following numbers will completely divide 3 to the power 25 plus 3 to the power 26 plus 27 plus 28 out of these four numbers we have to tell so first what we'll do you see uh, i can write 3 raised to power 25 plus 3 raised to power 26 plus 3 raised to power 27 plus 3 raised to power 28 if you see there is a common power which is there in every number which is 3 to the power 25 because if i write it like this you will understand it 3 to the power 25 plus 3 to the power 25 into 3 to the power 1 this dot means into similarly i can write this as 3 to the power 25 into 3 to the power 2 plus similarly 3 to the power 25 into 3 to the power 3 now all of these uh, numbers have one thing common and that is 3 to the power 25 is there in every number we can see so take this power common all right what is left is here we left with 1 here this 3 uh, will be left then here we have 3 to the power square and uh, here we have 3 to the power 3 now if you add it uh this is going to be 1 plus 3 plus 9 3 square is 9 3 cube is 27 if you find this is a uh, 12 plus 113 and here we have 3 to the power 25 that means i can write 3 to the power 25 into 40 now this number is divisible by what see there is no 3 power here there is no there is one 3 power one 3 will get here that means i can write it like 3 to the power 1 into 10 this i can use there is no any no 3 here no 3 here no 3 is not a multiple uh, like uh, 11 is not a multiple of 3 even 16 is not 25 is not okay that means uh, where i'll get 3 uh, only in the fourth option now if i take this out can i write this like 3 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 24 because you know the rule of uh, indices that is uh, if a to the power m into a to the power n is there because the bases are same we add both the parts so uh, can i write like this i can write like 10 into 4 if you see observe carefully this is 3 here and 10 here and here also in 30 3 and 10 are there that means obviously this number is equivalent to this that means the correct answer of the question is option d because 30 is present in this where i have uh, I taken them separately in order to just uh, match with the options and this number because uh, it can be written like 3 into 30 and uh, 3 into 10 uh, please uh, pardon me 3 into 10 and then what we are left with 3 to the power 24 into 4 so this number will always be divisible by 3 into 10 you can see this will be cancelled and because this is a question so this will always give you a remainder 0 Okay, so this will completely divide because this is giving me the remainder zero. The answer of the question is three into ten. That is thirty. All right, let's move to the next question. We have a number similar. We have done in the previous sessions as well. A number when divided by six leaves a remainder three, and when the square of the number is divided by six, the remainder is what? All right. So let's take a number n. whenever it is uh, divisible by 6 it is giving you a remainder 3 okay suppose question is q can i write like n equal to we know the rule the rule is divisor or divisor into quotient plus remainder this is the meaning of n this is called dividend so dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder so can i write like 6q plus 3 all right this is the value of n we have got now after this it is given that when the square of the number is divided by 6 that means i need to square this now now this n become n square now 
and now it has to be divided by 6 so if i divide by 6 that means n has become n square that means this complete path need to be square or this complete algebraic expression which we have got needed to be square so just square it 3 uh, 6 so i you know the rule right a plus b whole square is written as a square plus 2ab plus b square so we'll use this expression here so this is a and this is b so a square this 6q square 6q complete whole square plus 339 plus 2ab that is 2 into 6q into 3 and that is going to be 36 q square plus 9 plus 12 3 is a 36 q okay 36 q now this number n square is this number now this need to be divided by 6 if you observe it you can see that this 36 q square is definitely divided by 6 this 36 q also because 36 is a multiple of 6 and what is left is 9 by 6 that means this is giving me remainder 0 this is completely cancelled this is also giving me remainder 0 and this is giving me remainder 3 so my answer is 3 so guys this is the approach which we can use in order to understand the question but in order to do the question fast we don't need to do this much what we do is see we'll directly take another which gives us uh, remainder 3 when it is divided by 6 so let's say the smallest number is 9 that that smallest number is 9 itself right so whenever 9 is uh, divided by 6 you will have a remainder 3 now just do the square as per the question is uh, asking do the square of this number so 9 square is 81 if you divide it again 6 1 is a 6 2 1 6 3 is a 18 and uh, this is 3 so this is 3 is left so you can see uh, the answer is coming so fast so this is the answer and this should be the approach you have to use in the exam so this is the answer option d i hope this is clear let's move to the next the sum of two numbers is 12 and their product is 35 what is the sum of the reciprocals of these numbers let's suppose uh, the numbers are a and b the sum of the numbers is 12 and their product product means a into b and that is uh, 35 now you need to find the sum of the reciprocals of these numbers sum of the reciprocals means one upon a reciprocal of a you know in mathematics reciprocal is if i say two what is the reciprocal one by two so if any number is x its reciprocal is one by x right so one by a plus one by b what is the answer you take it uh, in the lcm a into b this b will go up this b a will come here so this is b plus a by so I can write it a plus b divided by ab. What is a plus b already given as 12? 12. What is ab? ab is 35. So this is the answer option a. Option a is the answer. Now, so this is the approach we have to use in this question. But in exam, we don't have this much of time. So go in a short manner. Go fast, right? Because we have to clear the exam. So in that case, always remember sum of reciprocals. It is always equals to the sum divided by product sum divided by product sum divided by product always remember the shortcut you know this is the sum of reciprocals so you can write sum of reciprocals will be always equal to the sum divided by product suppose in in the next question the sum is given as say 20 and the product is given as say uh, 45 what is the answer then the sum of reciprocal has to be sum by product remember so what is sum 20 and product is uh, 45 just solve it 5 4s are 5 9s are, and that is going to be the answer okay so this is the shortcut for sum of reciprocals please use it all right now we have the next question what will be the remainder when uh, this number is divided by 18 so we have a number here and uh, it is uh, 17 to the power 200 divided by 18 so if you do it uh, by formula it will be uh, you can solve it 
right but in in this question we can use a thing called negative remainder if you what is the meaning actually the meaning is 17 into 17 into 17 into 17 and that is occurring 200 times right and whenever you divide this uh, complete uh, by 18 when you will divide it uh, completely by 18 what you will be getting so it's like this now see this is the number and it is 200 times now you need to divide it by 18 so if you observe what is happening there is a thing called negative remainder if you divide 17 by 18 divide it 17 by 18 so if you once it is a uh, 17 once is 17 so this is minus so this is minus 1 so this minus 1 we will use as a remainder see in my remainder can't be in minus but in order to uh, do questions fast we have introduced an a thing called negative remainder please note this it's a very important uh, concept negative remainder concept this helps uh, to solve the question fast what happen is see what we have is see like suppose i ask you um, that if i divide 4 by 5 remainder is positive remainder is 4 like in this case also if you divide 18 by 17 the positive remainder is 17 okay so but the negative remainder is 5 this 5 uh, which which was a divisor and minus 4 so this is minus 1 okay i hope this is clear like uh, if you divide it 5 similar concept 5 ones are 5 what is left you subtract it is minus 1 so this is how okay so uh, from the uh, you will always uh, subtract the positive remainder from the divisor so in this case also you subtract and you got minus and now just uh, do the question as per the condition now so there it's 17 so what is the remainder first time minus 1 then also minus 1 and if you divide this by 18 again a uh, positive remainder is this is your positive remainder and this is your negative remainder that means uh, if you have negative remainder and that is coming how much time Minus one till last, and this is total how much? These are two hundred times. Can I say minus one to the power two hundred? That is the answer. And if we, I divide it uh, by eighteen, and that is, has to be the answer. So, you know, minus one to the power minus one to the power e one. Like if I ask you, what is minus one to the power square? It is plus one. Similarly, minus one to the power two hundred also is plus one, and plus one divided by eighteen. your answer is plus 1 itself because we see we use this negative remainder concept to solve the questions fast but this is never be answer never be the answer because uh, the answer has to be positive remainder only negative remainder we used for just for calculations for fast calculation so answer of the question is so you just see 17 by 18 remainder minus 1 what is this minus 1 to the power 200 and that is plus 1 so plus 1 divided by 18 that is obviously uh this is plus 1 only so what is the answer so the answer is answer is plus 1 option 3 all right next question we have done a uh, similar type before where we have done uh from 1 to n if we have numbers 1 square 2 square and so on up to n square what is the answer it has to be n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 this is the formula for finding the square of you can write it it is uh, known as i write it here this is called sum of squares of first n natural numbers please write it it's very important formula and that is given by this Equal to n into n plus one and into two n plus one. Right. I'll just expand it divided by six. So this is the same formula. I've used it. So you can use like this. Okay. 
so this is the formula we will be using and uh, what is the value of n here you can see very clearly that it is 10 you can see it is going up to 10 so just put n value as 10 here in this formula so this has to be 10 into 10 plus 11 and 10 twice double 20 20 plus 1 26 3 2 the 6 3 7 the 21 2 5 the 10 that has to be 35 into 11 next is so what is the shortcut for 11 i guess i have already told you write the first number write the last number in between if uh, it is 11 write the sum of the both to so 3 plus 5 8 and the answer of the question is 385 that is option d so it's a formula based question right even you can add this also and manually and you can get this we have done in the previous uh, sessions as well next the difference of the two squares of uh, two consecutive even integers let's say one of the integer is n so another must be n plus 2 because uh, they are even integers integers means the numbers which are complete numbers like uh, 3 4 5 minus 7 minus 8 these are all complete numbers so it is asking the difference of the squares of the two consecutive even integers is divisible by which of the following integers all right so if you square it uh, this is n square this is n plus 2 whole square so if you expand this uh, in the formula a square plus uh, this is your a this is your b a square plus b square plus 2 a b so 2 a b and that is uh, n square plus 4 plus 4 n this is the expansion of this and this is n square now you need to find the difference of both so just find the difference for the difference we know what we do we we'll just subtract it so n square plus 4 plus 4 n minus n square you, you can see that this is cancelled so what is common here 4 is common 1 plus n now this number is divisible by what you can clearly see is this divisible by 3 that is only possible when n is 2 but we we are not sure what is n n can be it's because it's even integer the value is 2 fine in this case it is divisible by 3 but if i take n as 4 then it is 4 into 5 by 3 again it is not divisible so 3 is not satisfying all the conditions all right although it seems it is satisfying but it is it must satisfy all the conditions so it is satisfying the n with the value of 2 but it is not satisfying n with the value of uh, 4 right so now let's check for 4 you can see it's uh, you take any value of n here you take any value of n this is always uh, you take any value of n it is always cancelled by 4 see this is 4 1 plus n by if you divide by 4 you take any value of n na? this is always be divisible you take n uh, 2 so this is uh, 4 into 2, 2 plus 1 3 so that is 4 by see this is cancelling you take any value you take n as 4 so 4 into 1 plus 4 5 see because this is cancelled this is the question this will always be giving us remainder 0 so there is no need to check for the further options uh, the answer is 4 even if you check with 3 the 6 the same problem instead of 3 it is 6 right if this is 6 if you put the value you will get again here 3 instead of 3 you will get 6 so again you can see that it is not cancellable with 7 also uh, even 7 is I guess you can see here clearly that uh, if you if you take 7 here there is no uh, you know multiple of 7 in the denominator that is only possible when you take this n as 6 fine but uh, what about the other values you take n as 6 then it is cancelled by 7 fine but uh, what about n value 2 what about n value 4 if you take 2 it is 4 into 3 by 7 not divisible if you take n as 4 it is 4 into 5 by 7 again not divisible so what is the answer guys answer is fourth option so this is the traditional way to solve this question if you want to solve this first take any number you take uh, because consecutive integer you take one value as uh, 4 and one value as 2 what is 4 square 16 what is 2 square 4 12 12 is divisible by 3 fine 4 also 6 also but not 7 done so this value this is not satisfying all so we can take some other values so uh, squares of the two consecutive even integers now you take uh, 6 square and you take 4 square 
So six square is thirty six. Four square is sixteen, and this is coming out to be twelve, twenty. So this is not cancelable by cancelled by three. Fine. Yeah, this is cancelled by four. Of course, again, this is not cancelled by three. So you can see, uh, in both the conditions, four is always satisfying. Even if you take uh, the next value, you take eight square and six square, just to you know, just to clear the concept. Sixty four and thirty six, and uh, that is going to be. 28 and this is also cancelled by 4 so this is the answer this is the approach you need, uh, you need to uh, have in the exam to solve the question right okay next next is the sum of all even natural numbers between 1 and 31 so uh, please remember the formula if i talk about even numbers the first even number is 2 then 4 then 6 and then it is up to n what is the formula so i derive the formula here itself If you take two common, because two is there in every number, na. So one. If you take two, two into two, it is two. Two into three, three. So this is right. Two, four, and here I'll take two n because all the numbers I'm taking they are multiples of two. So if you take two common, this is only left with n. And now you know the formula. Of summation of first n natural number is n into n plus one by two. And here I need to multiply this by two. There are fifteen even numbers, and sixteen odd numbers. Because why sixteen? Because thirty-one also is added. Na, thirty-one is a is an odd number. So because it is the series is ending with the an odd number. So the number of odd numbers will be more. If the series is is ending suppose with a uh, thirty, in that one an odd both will be same fifteen fifty. Right. So here what we have get, got as the value of n that is fifteen because it is. Even natural numbers asking so just n plus one only, okay, n into n plus one, not by two. Why? Because two is cancelled, na? Yeah, this is even numbers, so please correct it here also. It has to be n plus one. So what is the answer? Fifteen into sixteen. You can solve it. Fifteen six and ninety, and that has to be two forty. So this is option number C. Please. Sum of uh, first n. When all tens place, this is called hundreds place. This is called thousand place. So six is at thousand place. So I'll multiply this by thousand. So this is six thousand. So this is called the place value of six. Now what is the face value? Of, I'm writing here face value for any number is the Number itself, okay. So if uh, because we we remember anyone with the help of face only, na. So the face value of six will be six, and we are trying to get the difference of both. It's saying the difference between the place value. Place value is six thousand, and the face value of six is six itself. So subtract it, and your answer is five double nine four. Right. So this is the answer. All right. Next. If a and b are odd numbers, uh, which of the following is even? You know, uh, odd numbers. You take one uh, and two, and the sum is one and uh, three. Sorry, this is an odd number. Na? So, what is the smallest odd number? It is one, then three. It is four. So, if this is a, this is b. The sum is always, uh, you know, even. You take any two odd numbers, their sum is always even. You take uh, seven plus nine. It has to be sixteen. If you take a uh, eleven plus thirteen, it has to be twenty-four. So you can a plus b. The sum, the sum will always be even. This value will always be even. This value we are talking about, right? This value is always even. You can see all these are even numbers. They are multiples of two. Okay. So the answer of the question is the the sum of the both will always be even. Option A is the answer. All right. The last question of the video: The sum of how many terms of the series six plus twelve plus eighteen plus twenty-four is this? And it is the sum of all the numbers. And uh, here we don't know about n. So if you try in this method, uh, if you see, you take uh, six common, you take six common, and uh, same thing: one plus two plus three, because we know this only now so far. So let's try to solve. Uh, and you know these all are multiples of six. So 
i'll be taking this 6n so this uh, will be n okay and here this sum has to be 1800 i hope uh, now you can solve this question because now we know that this complete we know the formula and this can be solved 6 can be cancelled with this 1800 so you can cancel this 6 threesa so just we need to find ki which value of n will give you 300 as the answer so if you know the formula sum of first n terms it is n into n plus 1 by 2 and that has to be equal to 300 if you multiply this you will be getting n into n plus 1 equal to 600 okay now don't uh, solve it ahead because it will it will be a quadratic equation just put the options put the options after this don't go ahead and solve this just put the options let's see so this is the value uh, in which we need to so just pick up the first first value uh, if you take uh, 16 okay picking up the first option that is 16 so 16 into 17 this is ending with just take the unit digit it ending with 2 and here we are ending with 0 so this is not the answer second option 24 into 25 5 fours are 20 so yeah we can check this to so 25 4s are 100 10 carry 25 to the 50 and 10 60 so yes this is the answer so number of terms is 24 so you can see that this is the absolute application of summation of first and natural numbers and we have solved this question using the same application right so that's all uh, for this video i hope you have enjoyed it so please subscribe to the channel for more